Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Marathon Coach in Coburg, Oregon. I'm Mal Williams, and welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It's a weather change here in Coburg. I woke up and it's rainy. It's uh, supposed to be rainy, and we're like getting that fall change. I've got my coffee. I'm wearing my Pendleton shirt, another good Oregon product. So, welcome to 1270. We're going to take a look at this um, X3 2 slide, Marathon Coach number 1270. I absolutely love this paint job. Let's take a look. One thing I really like is how the feature of the paint goes up into and extends above the awnings up there. This really will look dynamic out in the sun but since, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it is gray and uh, a little bit rainy here in Coburg, we, we have it inside under the lights so that uh, you can see it. We're gonna go in and take a look. Uh, if you have any questions or comments as we're moving along, feel free to. Also let us know where you're checking in from, if you're in Louisville or if you're in uh, Newport, Oregon. I was down in Newport, Oregon um, and uh, met a lot of great people uh, down there. and. Uh, would like to say hello to them this weekend. We got to show off uh, one of our coaches down there. Uh, 1267 was down there with me and that was really fun. So let's uh, go in and take a look at 1270. Before we go in, you know, we don't have an engineer with us today. We don't have the brother Dave Bash today, kind of the co-host of Marathon Mondays. But I'm gonna show you a few things here and there. One thing uh, that you might not know is each marathon coach has a rear camera and a, a camera on each side of the coach. And here's one right here. Uh, it gives you a really great view right on the dash in the cockpit of each side. So you can see uh, driver side and you can see the patio side or the curb side. This is a doorbell that has a camera where if you push that, if you push that, it not only rings like a standard, uh, typical mid-century doorbell, but from the uh, from the bedroom, uh, there's a monitor and you can see who's outside ringing the doorbell. Let's go in. Right away, what you'll see is a really rich leather on the wall of the door, on the entire cockpit, going all the way up to the ceiling in the cockpit. It's just a really beautiful, kind of a brown caramel leather. It's a great choice. I like the backsplash. I call that a I call that a step backsplash. I don't know what the technical term is, but it's tile on the steps. It's just beautiful. The question is how many times am I going to say beautiful today? As you know, there's this little compartment down here where we have the fire extinguisher. Also, a lot of people like to put a dog leash. A lot of people also put their shoes uh, but we store a, a fire extinguisher in there. All right, so it is an X, so we are on the living quarters as soon as we get in in the cockpit. So one thing we can look at right away in the cockpit, I'll have you come over here so you can see. Um, yeah, that, isn't that brown just beautiful? I love how it combines so well with the wood grain. Here's the snack tray, a lot of people like to see this. The snack tray is also lined in the leather, but you can pivot it around and boom, you've got all kinds of room in here for supplies and snacks and it tucks out of the way. Well, let's move here into the salon. So Samsung's throughout. This is a bunk coach. I didn't mention that yet. Uh, I've been saying it all weekend because 1267 also, but this is a bunk coach and 127, I love a good bunk coach. A lot of room in here. This comfortably can uh, sleep six. You've got two sleeper sofas in the salon. And you've got two bunks with entertainments, uh, entertainment centers in the berths. And then you've got a king size bed. So you can easily sleep six uh, with grandkids, uh, probably close to eight. Uh, because these sleeper sofas really go down to a really nice bed. Lots of room in there. Storage behind them. Storage underneath also. There we 
go. I think this is a, a Brenda designed coach, so I gotta make sure I pop each pillow properly. She's the fluffer of the pillows. So let's take a look. Okay, Speak of the devil. We were just mentioning you. Everybody, you? this is Brenda. Hey. So we're in 1270. Thank you so much for what are you, you're obviously oh, yeah. working on decor. A little more greenery. You can't have too much. Bring, I like it. Bring some life in. Talk to us about the decor in here. Talk to us about the yeah. interior design of this coach because I can't stop saying beautiful. I love how the leather, it, it just yeah. blends with the wood grain. It's so rich. I don't know, it's like a brown caramel. Mm -hmm. Talk to us yeah. about uh, what, uh, how you designed this coach. Well, this coach, I really was thinking families. It's bunks, kids, grandkids, double sofas, lots of room. All of our customers love their friends and family. Absolutely. And I love that our customers really use their coaches. Yes. So we try to make this really user friendly. You can, I'm picturing biking, yeah. hiking, everything. You got room in the bays for all your toys. You got room in the coach for all your friends, your kids, your family. And you've got really kids. Really easy to clean. Oh so yeah. So these, we were just talking mm -hmm. about the two sleeper sofas right. and we just put this one down. I yes. refluffed the pillows. Good, you did the nice curl. I right did, I, okay. I certainly did. Good. So tell tell me, um, easily uh, someone can sleep on this, but two right. grandkids or two smaller kids can sleep oh, on yeah. these. Yeah. We've seen that. Yeah, and we make a nice little wedge just to even make it more comfortable. A gotcha. little foam wedge that fills that in, and the mattress pad goes over, and it's really comfortable. Right. Yeah. The, the wedge pillow really makes a difference. Yeah, it does. You don't feel that seam in the middle. Exactly. So uh, let's talk some more about the fabrics in okay. here. This is really nice. Yeah. That yeah. is really cool. I would call this a transitional coach. You know, okay. it's got a lot of traditional elements, especially the coloring, really neutral, but it has some contemporary aspects too, so it's not frumpy or dated. Sure. But yeah, so we it's have some dated. geometrics, um, which are always transitional. The reveal back is something we've come up with that you can change this out really easily. It's attached, the fabric here, but if you wanted to lighten these, co these couches and get a different pattern in here, you just cover that, you have a whole new look. If you're gotcha. tired of it in a couple of years, done. Absolutely. Yeah. But the tone on tone, the richness, the warmth, you know, Alan and I always want everybody who walks into their coach to feel at home. Not yes. stuffy, yes. not pretentious, um, luxurious. So we have, you know, the shine, the shimmer, the accent. It's you know. very inviting in yeah. here. I really yeah. like it. So um, talk to us about this right here. Yeah. Is this a photograph of tile? It is, yeah. We've so seen we, that before. Mm -hmm. That's a great usage. Yeah, we do that in-house where we find a, a gorgeous stone that we love. We Our marketing department's amazing. They take great photos of it. We tweak the color. We print them out. We put them on the graphic. And those are all custom. That's pretty. Yeah, it is. And then the cabinet inserts or something, you know, just to add some texture. Yeah. I think, I think when you have a really neutral coach and a lot of warm, you don't have a strong accent color, texture is where you bring in the interest. So that's leather. Those are um, woven wow. leather. That's, no kidding. Yeah, so our, our cabinetry department built those and our upholstery department put them in and it just gives this depth and richness that you wouldn't normally have easy. Woven leather. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. neat. Yeah. So... Yeah, something kind of different. And then, of course, you know about the table and the extension. And Absolutely. You can get a bunch of people at that table. Yeah, and, uh, you know, there's, uh, the, there's the, use, <laughs> the, the usage of the uh, magazine rack over here is really right. nice. Yeah, that's true on both sides. So you can sit there and play cribbage cards, whatever, and tuck it away when it's time to eat. And you this can, extends out, right? All the way. So you can get six people, maybe even eight little people, at this table really easily. Okay. So we have extensions for the, the benches, pulls out, extensions for the table, they're all down in your bay, but they're really easy to grab and set up. Right. And you can just a simple pull out. And then the nice deep drawers underneath. Yeah, these are really nice. I know, they go on and on yeah. for all the pots and pans. So not an inch is wasted. Yeah. That's really pretty. One thing we were talking about this weekend um, down in Newport is uh, the dish drawer. Mm -hmm. So wanted to mention that this morning. Okay. Uh, the Fisher Paykel or the Fisher Paykel, if you will, um, th which is also the company that we're using with the refrigerators right. now. A lot of people, and tell me if you've heard this, because I know you spend a lot of time with our customers. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are using the dish drawer as exactly that, yeah. a dish drawer. Right. They're storing their dishes mm 
in the drawer. So let's say a family of four, they can fit all their dishes in there. Right. They use six dishes for lunch or for a snack. They right. put them back in, they wash them. Again, they wash all of them. And the point being, that it's the safest place to store your dishes. Exactly. It'll be airlocked when you're, um, yeah. when you're moving. They're not gonna rattle, they're exactly. in their slots. It's smart. I and mean, not only that, but when you wash it, okay, granted, only two of the dishes got dirty, right. but you're using the same amount of water you would you're True. using the same amount of electricity. Great so point. the dish drawer is actually a dish drawer, and I'm hearing that from a lot of yeah. uh, a lot of um, owners yeah. that are telling me that. Yeah, exactly. Any comments or questions? We do have some comments, and I am going to go over them. You bet. Um, so we have Gerard who was talking about the step. Can we get a, what that step mm -hmm. is officially called with the tile? We called it a backsplash. Oh, okay. Our step raiser. I called it a backsplash because it is the backsplash to the stair. That's that's <laughs> accurate. Okay. It is, and we use the same material in the backsplashes. So oh, well, there you go. Those are our step risers, and we often do them in stainless steel, so you get that kind of mirror look. Yes. But like I said, I was designing this really for kids, families. You won't mar that. So when your coach doors open, you kind of get a hint of what your interior decor is. So that's a, a brushed crater travertine mosaic. It's in that linear kind of line and it matches the steps. It's very nice. And then Reginald um, asked that Brenda introduce herself because he missed the beginning of the show and oh, he wants okay. to know. Hi Reginald. <laughs> and then Gerald says good morning. Good morning, Good morning to all of you guys. Thank you so much for always commenting and watching. Uh, you guys are the ones that we do this show for, so really appreciate it. Uh, Brenda, how long have you been with Marathon? Three years. Three years. Yeah. And you're you you work with Al yeah. uh, Christensen in our design. You're you're one of two designers mm -hmm. here on staff. Right. Um, tell us, let's let's tell us like what's your favorite coach you've ever done? Let's go let's go with okay. that one first. All right. It was a, a customer bought it right before it was finished, 1248, and I did a red sofa, this gorgeous oh, cool. Italian leather in this rich red and, and a black and white kind of. So it was a little different, and I love that coach. Still do. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, one thing that Brenda will not do is blow her own trumpet. I will do that for you. Uh, you are exceptional at helping customers find exactly what they like, what's going to make, like you said earlier, what makes it very inviting. Um, and I saw that with uh, my customers uh, that came in and purchased a pre-owned coach and they wanted to remodel oh, a, a yeah. sofa. And uh, you were able to source material from nine years <laughs> later, you were able to source uh, the exact same material. So I know that uh, the customers, the, uh, the people that are part of the Marathon family that come in for... Um, doing remodels they really appreciate your expertise and okay. so it's it's great to have you in the coach with us talking about what you've done in this one i know you guys are constantly working on what's next and so here we are yeah. in a finished coach talking about it but um i really appreciate the time that you're absolutely. taking with us absolutely. let's talk about this floor okay i love the 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 two the two-tone yeah this coach has a strong contrast we got dark cabinets light walls and we repeated that on the floor so but dark floors are are a nightmare you're, you're always they're not a nightmare that's the wrong thing to say <laughs> you have to be swiffering a lot and that's okay right you know right. but this hides everything so you just have a little and you're done but it's a stranded eucalyptus it's eight times stronger than oak it's incredibly hardy your dogs can come in here your friends with stilettos can come in here wow this is hardy hardy so it gives that rich, elegant look, but it doesn't have the maintenance that you would have. Sure. Yeah. Stranded yeah. eucalyptus. Yes. I was reading that Walt Disney wanted to save his eucalyptus trees when uh -huh. he built Disneyland, and they literally dug up these monstrous eucalyptus trees really? and relocated them to the Jungle Cruise. Oh, wow. From all over that, that orange grove, uh -huh. they relocated it to one area. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's how I know my eucalyptus trees. I love this... Uh, this uh, Fisher Paykel mm -hmm. refrigerator and the the um, bottle storage up top right. is always a really neat thing that we're doing. Really bright. I love the colors inside the refrigerator. Oh, the things we get excited about. I know. Our refrigerator. I, see, I got excited about these plates. The poles? Yeah. I yeah. love these hammered poles. I was kind of going for a an Aspen, Colorado kind of oh, yeah. Black Butte feel. So sure. You'll see that in the sconces. We see it in the poles. 
got a little bit of an arts and crafts kind of feel. It is a little bit of arts and crafts. Yeah, just a bit, just a touch. Yeah. You know, we, we try to keep things really open and not not follow a niche too much. You, know, yeah. you don't want a cliche coach, sure. but you like a little touch. I think arts and crafts is classic. Yes. And it goes well with this coloring. So that's yes. what I kind of meant by transitional. You got a really traditional pull, but you have a really contemporary geometric fabric. And you, when you mix those carefully, you don't have a, you can't walk in and go, oh, 1993, that was made. You know? Right. Absolutely, it needs, it. it needs yeah. to have longevity exactly. through style. Yeah, we, we try to keep it really neutral so that our customers, because they're going to live with these for a while, yes. that, that they aren't tired of it. Yeah. Or and they change just a couple of little things, like that reveal back, and they make it updated again. And that's something that you can tell in some, some right. manufacturers, and you know there are a lot of great manufacturers out there. Right. But a lot of a lot of times you'll see Liberace's coach. Right. A lot of times yeah. you'll see it dated by colors exactly. or by fabrics. Yeah. Um, and I think that is something that Marathon over the over the thirty plus right. years has done an amazing job. Is you can go into a twenty year old Marathon and it does not look dated. Right. And I love that. I we love aim that for, aspect. For classic, for timeless, for quiet elegance. You shouldn't feel like you're in Vegas or in a dental waiting room. Nice. There's a nice in between. Absolutely. Yeah, it shouldn't be boring, but it also shouldn't be just ostentatious and harsh. Right. Yeah. And one thing we before we move on, we should mention: um, not only do you do the design, what we call designer choices, mm -hmm. but um, you do a lot of custom work with customers. Right. And so there's really no telling what we can do or what oh, we haven't done. Oh, it's, you know, we had customers fly in this weekend and we spent all weekend with them. Wonderful people. Kent, I'm super excited about their coach. She wants a modern farmhouse kind of look. Very nice. Kind of a Joanna Gaines. It's going yes, to yeah. be amazing. It made, and we can absolutely do that. And that's something we don't usually do, but we were so excited. It's going to oh, be amazing. That's so cool. And so, see, that's really neat. Yeah. You're getting to... Um, you know, expand your repertoire. Right. Did I just say repertoire? You did. I did. <laughs> you can expand, you're expanding it right. uh, because the customer, that's what they want. Right. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and our it. goal is that they have their vision. Not yes. Ours. Not ours. Right, you're just helping their. them. Yep, yep. That's me. There's your dovetail bamboo. Mm -hmm. I love these drawers. I love the look of them. I love the feel of them. Um, good storage, top and bottom here. And because it's a bunk coach, we've got bunks. So each each bunk, a lot of people talk about well bunks. So what? I don't need bunks. Well, these are very very. Um, well, what's what's the term here, uh, Brenda? It's a versatile. It's a versatile design. Right. Is basically what we have. So Absolutely. what we can do. Yeah, James, come on over on this side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show everybody this right here. So if you aren't gonna use it for bunks, you know we've even see pe uh, people use these for dogs, right? Yep. Um, we've done a special vinyl covering on there that they can just lay over the mattress. They put their kennel and their goods and all of that in there. That's so great. Yeah. And it makes a great wardrobe. And when you're not using it for bunks or you using it for storage in, in this mm -hmm. tiered situation, the bunk goes down uh, with a, it's a motorized drop. And this, I'm not going to do it all the way because I don't want to scrunch those pillows down there. <laughs> but the bunk will go all the way down and pretty much sit right down on here. And then you've got the versatility of dropping that metal bar and having it as pretty much a full size closet. Right. This will go all the way down and you can use this as a closet. So you've got that. This also hits up with a magnet. And each berth in here has an iPad console. It's got air conditioning. It's got lighting. It's very, very nice. I'm going to put that bunk back up. Let I me like just say, Mal, that yes. as a short person, I appreciate our engineering department because making these bunks is so much easier. If you've ever tried to make a bunk at home and you're wrestling with the mattress and the yes. sheets, you drop that down, you make the bed. Easy peasy. You lift it back. That's up. a good point to because, make the bed. Yeah, it's just so much easier. I didn't even think about that. Well, I do. If I'm a decor coach, I'm like, oh, this is so nice. Drop that bunk, <laughs> make the bed, put it back up. Another nice thing is here we are. We're not just standing in a hallway. We're standing in rooms, and the reason we're standing in rooms, and I can just walk into here and talk to you. 
The reason we're standing in rooms is because Marathon uses pocket doors. They're all air-controlled slide pocket doors or Jim Kirk doors from Star Trek. This whole area right here can be closed off. There's a pocket door right here in front of the camera. There's a pocket door here at the entry or the exit of the galley. There's pocket doors here to the bathroom and there's pocket doors that cover these berths right here in the bunks. And I'll show you. Let's see, what are we doing? Closet door. They slide over first, like that, and then they open to close all the way. So you can close these doors and completely. So if you are storing clothing in there or you are storing what have you, um, there's you can really close it up. And let's see, we're gonna do closet door again. So you've got the ability to completely close off this hallway, which I really like because if there's someone who wants to go to bed in the bunk and there's people that are entertaining either in the bedroom or up here in the salon or the galley, you can do so and close off this whole area. Also, you can close the bathroom if you want to sleep and not look at the bathroom, which there is a Samsung uh, display monitor in there. Um, but yeah, you've got that ability. We really didn't talk about the uh, about the bathroom yet, Brenda. Yeah. Uh, I love this shower. It's a big shower. It is. Yeah. We repeated that travertine, so you can see that mosaic nicely on the floor and three quarters of the wall. And then, you know, you're trying to limit the material so things don't get too busy and still keep it really interesting. But it's light, bright, roomy. It really is. It's really rich. Yeah. It's really, really nice. It's got. It, it's got good texture to it. Mm -hmm. We have quite a few comments and questions if you'd like to. Well, let's, yeah, let's do a few uh, while we stand here in the bedroom. Let's, uh, let's, let's answer a couple of questions okay. and, and see what we can do. Well, Sherry says, good morning. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Sherry. Gerald wants to know, will you ever create a concept for microwave waste level for wheelchair users? And he'd also like to know how difficult is it to create a more flexible um, layout for wheelchair users? That is a really good question. And that is something that we should probably source properly our engineering department. Yeah. Um, I will probably, after we shoot here today, I'll get with Jay Graham uh, or Bob Shavria mm -hmm. and ask them, have we done it before? And you might know. Not uh, in my three years. Right. I know we can. I, okay. I, I would bet money that we can. I'd but bet I'm money there's. Positive we have. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, let me message you back on Facebook, and uh, or if you want to email me, malw at marathoncoach.com is my uh, email, and I can uh, answer that more in depth. But I want to source our engineers that have been here for right. a long time, and we got to meet Bob a couple weeks ago, or was that last week? They all run together and many many times we've gotten to spend some time with Jay Graham so let's source those guys that have been here for 25 plus years ask them the question and we'll get back to you on that and then we have Dennis who says good afternoon from Richmond Hill Georgia hey all right he says it's a beautiful coach and he wants to know the pros and cons of two sofas versus one sofa and one or two recliners on the other side I love it great question yeah go at it I would say the pros are that you can get more people in both sleeping and sitting so when you have the recliners that's two you know obviously sofas three four depending on how little so you have more sleeping area and you have more sitting area um, I would say the con is that you know when you have the two recliners and the occasional table you have a little more storage in that table you have a place for your laptop you have an, a place to set things so if you're doing work Etc. and you don't want to balance that laptop on your lap, if you use your coach for business, then two recliners and a table is probably a better bet for you. So it just is kind of about how you're going to use the coach. At and the end of the day, it's personal preference it is. or uh, necessity if, mm -hmm. you do, if you do have four grandchildren and right. you want you know, the bunks and the, yeah. and the sleepers. Well, and it's a season of life. We had a customer come in who as a bachelor, he had bought a coach with a recliner. Now he was married and had three kids. And he came in for a remodel and went, wow, how am I going to get bunks and a double sofa? He ended up just buying a new one because he was in a new season of life. And right. he needed a different layout. And, and so What a great term, yeah. season of life. Right, yeah. 
That's a good transitional term. I love season of life. And that's, and, and you just, I mean, you're, you're hitting on it. Let's hit on it some more. Yeah. There, the remodels, you know, if, if there is a pre-owned coach, like we've got a ton of pre-owned coaches, mm -hmm. you can change it from the ca the, the chairs, the Absolutely. recliners, yeah. to a, a sleeper sofa, yeah. um, you know, pretty easily. Yeah. And we've seen that quite often. Mm -hmm. Or you can switch it back. Yes. Absolutely. You so know, if you fall in love and say, you know what, turns out I'm doing a lot of work on the road. I need my printer in here. I need a, a place for my laptop. Yeah, we can build a custom table, organize all that, make it easy. Or you know what, now it's just we're empty nesters, just yes. the two of us. And we both want to see, we had one couple, beautiful couple came in. She goes, I like to lay down and watch TV. He liked the recliner. We set it all up in such a way that they could do that. And we you know we really personalize it. So it's, it's your home. How fun. Yeah. You know, it is. You know, we, we, it's our job. We work here. But what a fun product. What a fun scenario where you get to really help people. I mean, you spend your time helping people pick out something that they're going to use for fun. Right. It's not like you're helping them I pick know. out a mop or, right? you know, it's something, it's something <laughs> know. that's even a car. Yeah. Even a car is not as so personal because a car is used for transportation. This yeah. is enjoyment. You know, you're spending time with family and exactly. and you're getting out on the road and yeah. you take your dogs along. It's How fun. Delight. I, I know, love I'm it. super blessed. So cool. Uh, any other comments or questions? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So Ron says good morning from Langley, BC. Langley. Canada. I wow. like it. Good morning, Ron. Canada. Jim says 1270. I saw that on my tour. Great layout. Hey, Jim. How are you? Good to see you again. And let's see. Reginald says he loves the way... Um, you, Brenda, you break down the details of the design. Thumbs up. Um, Lee says good morning. Hey, Lee. Reginald wants to know if this coach was designed by our team or if it was designed by an owner. I'll by let you. Yep. Um, Rod would like to know is this an H3 or an X3 platform? And then. Um, this is an X3. It's an X3 double slide. Rod or Ron would like to know what's the height difference between the H3 and the X3? 13 feet 4 inches, you know, uh, 45 feet long, uh, and uh, yeah, so there's there's many, there's benefits to both styles of coach. Right. Which do you prefer, the H or the X? And well, it is a personal preference at I some point. I have a little um, roadster side of me. I like the chrome. I love the X because I like the height. I have a tall husband. Sure. And I love the chrome on the front, the stainless, not the chrome, the stainless. The stainless. I like that look. Yes. I think it just gives it a little. And in the X, you're going to get more right. ceiling room. Yeah, you get more height. Than more height. Right. But in the H, you get the different storage underneath. You do, yeah. And the H, the cockpit is a little bit lower, so it's it feels like the cockpit is separate from the living area. It does, yeah. I like the H. The X is that classic Rolling Stones on the road look, rock you know, roll. rock and roll look. <laughs> the H is that um, really bold. Gosh, you know what though? You look at the side of this coach, really bold. Yeah. I love the colors yeah. of the outside of this. Yeah. Um, recessed mm -hmm. frames. Yeah, right. let's, let's talk about that. I love this detail. So our engineers put these in so that our slides can come in. The artwork never has to be moved, right. be changed. So we choose, we have these all custom made. We choose the artwork, we choose the frames to kind of go with our, our decor, what we're looking. And like I said, I was thinking of a, an outdoorsy, active kind of family. It shows the art by that. Sure. Landscapes are always good. But the nice thing is, is these are attached with VHB tape. Customers can buy this coach, pull them off. We can take them apart, put in your family photos, your vacation photos. You can change your artwork every few years. It's right. just easy. There's nothing. And I like how it's recessed, yes. so when the slide Clean. comes in, yeah. it's the, the artwork is not going to be affected. Right. Yeah. Shirt closet right here. Mm -hmm. Wish you can proof that your mattress pad and sheets have never been slept in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we can do custom shoe pockets on the back. They can do all kinds of things in here. Excellent. Nice Lots of storage down here. That's a big drawer. There's four of those. Fit a lot of shoes in there, my friends. A lot of shoes. A lot of shoes. These are push pulls. Kind of a nightstand drawer. Look how long that is. 
good for your iPhones, your cell phones, your your glasses, your book. You fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, I, I love I love the way we're doing the TV. The the way that this is curved, it makes the TV look curved. Yeah. We do a curved television in the quad slides. Mm -hmm. This is a 50 inch Samsung that looks curved because of this entire right. wall. So it's a beautiful display. And one thing I like is that we still get some of the window. Yeah, you know, exactly. Not only for safety reasons, uh, emergency yeah. exit reasons, but you still get some of the window yeah. and you still get a large, a right. large monitor. And it's nice cross ventilation if you like to sleep with the window open. Which oh yes, I do. absolutely. So it's nice. A lot of storage underneath here. You do have a sink with mirrors up top here. Storage underneath and storage here. And then we do the fabric Romans in the in the bedroom for softness if you want to. Yeah, and I like those just too. Nice. I raised those up before we before we went live. It's just a nice, it, it adds a little warmth and a little softness to the bedroom and um, holds up up real quiet really easy on both sides behind the bed and above so it's nice it's really nice and when it's tucked away you don't even know yeah it's you there. don't even see it so nice storage above i love i love how these open and stay open and then just to get them closed you just pop them up and back down the bed is pushed up so you've got more room to walk in here uh this is now bamboo these are these are bamboo mattresses Yes. Custom made for our coaches. Yep. Slumberies. Really soft. But we do Tempur-Pedic too. We do whatever the customer wants. We order the Tempur-Pedic and we cut them down to fit with our radius and everything. You can go down to the store, lay on them, pick the, the model you want. Oh, we'll that's order great. it. We cut them down. And, but almost everyone loves these. They're really comfortable. Slightly firmer though. So if you want a really soft mattress, we can do that. Okay. Yeah. So, I, I like this too. We're, we're, do, now, do you custom choose this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we custom sew them all. We cut notches in the transition so they tuck in here nicely. Of course, the bed's up right now, so it's a little... But yeah, to follow the radius and we have a really great family-owned company that does all of our custom sewing for us. All of our pillows, all of our bedding, it's all custom. It's all locally done. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's great. They've been doing our work for years. Oh, that's really neat. That's really cool. So uh, pretty much a walk-in closet over here. Uh, you've got your ASCO washer dryer stacked up on the left-hand side. You've got audio visual over here on the right. You can walk up in here. Uh, you've got access panels for electrical if you need so, uh, but there's also a closet bar up here, right up here. And I'm six foot and I am standing tall. So you can see that you can actually get up in here and be pretty comfortable to do your laundry or what have you. Very nice. Ready for more questions and comments? Oh, look at this storage. This is great too. A lot of people, see this is just utilization of space. There's a lot of shelving there. Very nice. Yeah, go ahead, Mickey. You got more uh, comments or questions? We do. Uh, we have someone asking if we're going to also do the exterior of the coach. Yeah, we can go look at a few a few elements outside before we sign off today. Uh, have them comment again. Is there anything specific they want to see? Maybe we can uh, get into the specifics. I mean, that's why we're here live right. is uh, so that people can see exactly what they want to see. Dennis would like to know, do the recliners stay stationary while moving down the road? A good question. Dennis uh, is asking if the um, recliners back in the salon, and let's, let's move our way back into the salon, uh, if the recliners stay stationary. Well, this coach does not have recliners because it, as we talked about earlier, it's got the double sleeper sofas. We, um, the, there are tethers for them that hook to the wall and usually what you see right here is a couple of recliners and we have like little uh, what do you call them I call them tethers yeah but they're straps they're just yeah, straps they're custom made straps that will hold them so they don't slide around they're pretty heavy so they don't generally move right but for safety reasons you might want to 
tie those down. Depends on what kind of driver you are, how fast you're going to take those corners. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but for the most part, they don't move, right. and, and we do yeah. we do install uh, wall mounted uh, straps right. so that the. But we don't place them on the slide or the base so that you can't move them because we want to give our customers flexibility. If you want to pull that out to the middle of the salon and watch that TV, you can do so. Right. So your recliner isn't stuck in one spot, unable to move. You can pull it over to the end of your dining room. You can set it here. You can take it outside if you want. But when you're driving, use the strap, hold it in place. But otherwise, maximum flexibility is what we're about. Gotcha. Before we go outside, what's your favorite feature about this coach? I would say... Mm, that's a tough one. It's I would say the one. cockpit. I really loved how that leather turned yeah. out. I think it's really warm and cozy when you walk up into the coach. It just feels rich. And so the travertine on the floor, the leather on the top, and how it blended. We did a slightly darker contrast leather in the insert that is just rich. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with the cockpit. I will show you my favorite feature. Why don't okay. you guys jump back here. This is something that, as a salesperson, I love to show because this is kind of the um, this is kind of the coolest part. We're going to go into the salon and we are going to go here. Oh yeah! Mickey, watch your head. Come this way. <laughs> so theater mode mm -hmm. in all of our marathon coaches with the flick of one button. The display TV comes down. All the blinds from the galley all the way forward come come down, lights and then you've got the lights that will dim. Yeah, we keep joking that we need to have the pop the microwave hit the popcorn button at the same oh time, my and goodness. then it'd be complete. You'd be totally ready for that movie. That what? was Alan's idea, and I think that's what needs to be added, and then it'd be perfect. And then with the flip of one button, we hit it again. Watch your head over there. television goes back up where it's supposed to be or where it can be stored all the blinds go back up and the lights so there's five TVs on board there's actually five iPads on board also because you've got iPad Crestron control here in the salon in the bedroom also in the entertainment bay but both of the bunks have an iPad too. So you've got five TVs, you've got five iPads, uh, lots of entertainment, and the surround sound in a marathon coach is phenomenal. So I'm going to grab my coffee and we're going to head on outside. And uh, I know my man Reginald wanted to see a little bit of, uh, a little bit of the exterior. Uh, I think he may have missed the beginning. But let's take a look at a little bit more of it. Thanks for letting me interrupt you. I'm oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and the this. GPS. I, I love this. I love how the GPS comes right out of the dash. It's a real clean finish when you're not using it. It just sits right down inside here. Uh, the two-tone seats, Brenda, are beautiful. Thank you. They're Thank beautiful. You. It's a little contrast. It's... We do have someone, Stanley, commenting what a beautiful bus it is. Who wants to know how many beds can you put in a bus? And how many TVs can you put in a bus? Well, and that's just it. We'll, we'll, let's, we'll probably point this question over to Brenda here in a second, but there's nothing that Marathon hasn't really done or can't do. Right. You know, uh, as far as TVs, um, it's just a matter of customizing the way that you want it or the way you need it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of different things that we've done. Uh, beds virtually the same thing right. we uh brenda we've done multiple we've done more than more than the two bunks well that's a question for jay well, okay. how many have we done as far as i know currently this is probably the most beds you can get is you have the junior king you have two sleepers you have two bunks that's a lot of people sleeping in one coach it really is yeah but um if they can add more they would and yeah if you need something different they kind of you could do double bunks i, I know we've done that for um, musicians and mm -hmm. so they've had quite four bunks, two on each side. And gotcha. Yeah, but yeah. So, um, you only have 45 feet to work with. That's right. So if you put in lots of sleeping, you might have a shorter galley. You know, you, you have to choose where you're going to compromise and what you need for that season. Right. And, but we can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's a good point. I mean, bringing six people into a 45 foot, and we're not talking little ones. 
right. adults can comfortably sleep on these sleeper right. sofas and in those bunks. So right. you can comfortably sleep six adults in this 45 foot Prevost chassis. Yeah. So that's a, you're right. That's a lot of that's a lot of beds. If you need more beds, um, we can also help in hotel accommodations. <laughs> Just kidding. Here we go. Let's look outside. Are you gonna stay inside? Thank you so much for all of your time and, and it was really nice and I know that everyone watching really appreciates it. And if there's more questions or comments, yeah. I'm gonna be uh, coming down to your office and asking you because okay. I wanna make sure I get the answers right. Okay. So big thanks to Brenda for hanging out with us today. Thanks, Mal. All right, let's go out here and take another look at this exterior. Let's take a look. So there's some storage right there. We've got uh, a lot of manuals in there. The What you're seeing right here, these are the extensions for the booth. I'm gonna put my coffee down over here. And uh, our, our engineers did a great job because in the X, you're like, oh gosh, where do I put my folding chairs? Where do I put this and that? Little cubbies are always important. So just tucked up right in here, you've got your Zipty marathon embroidered folding chairs. Also, a little compartment specifically for your marathon coach floor mat or your entry mat, which is right there, safely secured. You got two there, and you're gonna have two more over here. Um, I'm gonna drop this down so that people can see the paint job a little bit better. Oh, here. So you'll be able to see this beautiful paint job one more time. I know Reginald didn't get to see it. Let's walk around the coach here and um, then we'll sign off for Monday. I really like what Pete Sutton did right here with this. Oh, yeah, this is another cool thing. We offset the Marathon logo on the back to look to look like it's designed to go over here. I really like that. Normally, that Marathon uh, logo goes in the center of the, of the coach, obviously. But on this one, it's offset so that you can actually see it. Uh, black paint on brown there. Here's a nice shot where you can see uh, the slide, the two slides are out on this X3, and you can see into the coach through the slides, and you can see decor, the lighting, a luxury home on wheels, absolutely beautiful. And you know, one of the really cool things about being here is that there's other coaches being worked on at the same time. Here you go over here. You got a bunch over here being worked on. This is kind of the um, main area of our, of our installation side of manufacturing. If you've never been to Marathon in Coburg, this is where all of the coaches are built in Coburg, Oregon. We have great locations for service and sales in Florida and Texas, but in Coburg, Oregon, since 1994, in this large building, in this huge property, everything is built in here. And so if you're ever in the area, stop in. Uh, we do daily tours at 1130, but we can also take you on a tour if you can't make 1130. So um, yeah, it's really a neat thing to come and see how these beautiful coaches are made. Any other comments or questions before we roll? A lot of kudos for you and Brenda. Oh yeah, it's real, really fun. Thank you so much to everybody for commenting and, and the compliments. Um, I look forward every Monday to doing it. Uh, it's not getting old. Is it getting old for you? Because I'm really enjoying it. Uh, 
we I get a lot of good feedback. Mickey gets a lot of good feedback. Um, our sales and marketing team really enjoy bringing it to you. And so keep coming with the comments and questions. If you have any ideas, uh, a lot of the shows that we've done every Monday are born out of you emailing me at malw at marathoncoach.com and saying, hey, what do you think about doing this? Last week, we grabbed Dave Bash, the co-host of Marathon Mondays, and said, hey, Dave, let's talk about the chassis batteries. Let's talk about the house batteries. That came from a viewer, someone's idea. So I love it. Thank you so much. 1270 is a beautiful coach. It is for sale. If you're interested, you know the email or feel free to call me uh, here at the Marathon Coach Coburg, Oregon location. Me and my Pendleton shirt and my coffee. I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good week and uh, be yourself and do good things. I'm out of here.